All right, let's take a look at the plank walkout. Really good one for like an isolation for rectus abdominis, but it also has a little bit of an anti-rotation component because the hands are moving, uh, you know, one side at a time. So I'm gonna just have Susan start with her, her knees on the ground actually. And so this is our, this is kind of our regression for plank walkout. Keeping her back nice and flat, she's just gonna walk her hands forward and push the hips out as well. There we go, keep walking the hands out. Great, you're gonna find the place that you can no longer hold tension. Maybe you can take another little step out and then you're gonna walk the hands back. Great, let's do that again. Let's make it three steps, three steps out, three steps back. So this is a totally reasonable version of a plank walkout. Plenty hard for, for a lot of us, no problem there. I'm gonna have Susan come up to full plank this time and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Let's take two or three steps out with the hands. Good, we end up the nice long extended position one more time. And what we're always gonna look for is that we've got a straight line from the ears through the shoulders to the hips. This is a really nice stable position for her. And I'm gonna have her do one more. A little bit of a rock side to side, totally fine, because that low back is super stable, which means the abs are working. Susan, thank you. Guys, that is our, low, that is our plank walkout. Again, whether you take that from the knees or from the feet, it is still gonna work really well for you.